news right now related to music mogul Sean Diddy Combs. Major new allegations today of assault and exploitation by Combs. Yeah, Toronto, we come to your city, okay, Atlanta. Copy. 2020, but I can't see 20, but I can't see. An hour left. So get extra comfortable, kids, because after that, y'all got to go. It's a wrap for y'all, because this thing turns into something that when y'all get older, y'all can't. There have been moments when Diddy completely forgot he was secretly recording. I'm a legend, baby, for a whole bunch of things. Yes. You need locks on the doors? <laughs> okay, this Let's is sounding kind of dangerous now. I lived with Sean Puffy Combs for a year. Hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and As I a result, some pretty disturbing footage of him at his infamous parties got captured. What was once shrugged off as part of his chaotic lifestyle could now become a big problem. These old recordings could resurface and be used as evidence in upcoming legal battles, making things much worse for him. Well, it's probably 12, 30. I'm downstairs. I go downstairs to the studio. I come up out the studio. The music changed. It was like really hard and heavy at first. And then, you know, like, and on my way upstairs, there's like this couch. And on the couch, I saw a couple of guys really going at it hard and heavy man and i was like oh as i started moving up stairs i passed them up and i noticed that it wasn't just those two guys it was more and more people it seems like almost everyone by now has heard about the whole diddy situation and how he got arrested for some seriously disturbing stuff similar to what epstein was involved in according to the charges he's facing diddy would allegedly intoxicate celebrities and other people then essayed them in horrific ways all without their consent or even knowing what was happening the rapper was taken into custody on September 16th after nearly a year of investigations. These included home raids and several lawsuits, all accusing him of misconduct and inappropriate behavior. What made the situation worse for him? A judge denied his attorney's attempt to secure a $50 million bail, which was a huge blow to his defense. According to the indictment, Diddy was accused of manipulating women into participating in what he referred to as freak-offs. These were reportedly highly orchestrated events, and they weren't just involving women. Prosecutors claim he even hired male SX workers to be part of these wild gatherings. It's said that he would pay both women and these male workers to fly out to wherever he was, ensuring they could be part of these disturbing parties. Just a day after his arrest, Diddy pleaded not guilty, and his attorney, Mark Agnafilo, publicly expressed his disappointment, calling the whole situation an unjust prosecution. While Diddy's legal team continues to fight the charges, the case has shocked many with new details adding to the already mounting allegations against him. You won't believe it, but over 3,000 people have come forward recently with their own stories of mistreatment at the hands of Diddy. Just last week, Texas-based attorney Tony Busby announced that he's representing 120 accusers with claims against the entertainment mogul spanning more than 20 years. During a press conference, Busby promised to uncover the people who enabled this behavior behind closed doors, vowing to pursue the case no matter who gets implicated. Many powerful people, many dirty secrets, he remarked, adding that his team has gathered evidence like pictures, videos, and texts. Busby revealed that these allegations involved disturbing acts, including incidents where people were allegedly coerced into inappropriate situations after being given substances without their knowledge. The lawyer also mentioned that the case includes the sharing of intimate recordings and claims it involves minors, with some dating back to 1991. Shockingly, one accuser was as young as nine years old at the time of the alleged incident. The sheer scale of the accusations is overwhelming, with over 3,000 individuals reaching out to Busby's office. Many of them come from states like New York, California, Georgia, and Florida, and 62% of the accusers identify as African American. Busby emphasized that more lawsuits are on the way, with additional defendants to be named soon. Diddy's legal team, however, continues to deny all the claims. His lawyer, Erica Wolf, stated that Diddy completely rejects the allegations and is looking forward to clearing his name in court. She described the accusations as false and part of a reckless media circus. Busby, who's handled other high-profile cases like Deepwater Horizon oil spill and lawsuits involving Deshaun Watson and Travis Scott, has now taken on this massive case. 
Diddy's legal issues have been piling up, especially after his ex-girlfriend Cassie accused him of mistreatment and S-teaking, eventually settling for an undisclosed amount. Since then, more lawsuits have emerged, including one from Don Richard, a former Danity Kane member who alleges Diddy essayed and threatened her. Despite all this, Diddy continues to deny the claims, labeling them as sickening and accusing his accusers of chasing a quick payday. Many of the lawsuits were filed in New York under the Victims of Gender Motivated Violence Protection Law, which allows individuals to seek justice even after the statute of limitations has expired. Now that those tapes are making waves, things are getting really messy for Diddy. New reports are coming out saying that some of the footage they confiscated shows him totally forgetting he was recording, leading to some seriously erratic behavior and downright disturbing actions. This just adds more fuel to the fire, making the judge's decision to deny his bail twice look pretty justified. One particularly cringeworthy clip has resurfaced, showing Diddy left in stunned silence after radio hosts played audio from a Miami party where he was caught saying men were scrambling and scraping for intimate moments. This moment was part of a 2018 episode of The Breakfast Club with Charlemagne the God, where the host joked with Diddy about a time he was apparently blackout drunk at a party. In the audio, Diddy can be heard trying to reminisce about being intoxicated and not really remembering what he was saying. When Charlemagne asked, would you like a reminder? It was all fun and games until they played the tape. Yeah, me a night of party and I don't really remember what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Would you like a reminder? Yeah, sure. Play some. Hey, play. hey yo, play listen, some. yo, I, I love it all. I love it all, man. I like yeah. when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, where you put my bag? Daddy, yeah, I like when you when oh, you scrambling and scraping. For that was you. Scrambling. <laughs> you said, you said, what? You said, I like when you do it like that, Daddy. When you're scrambling and scraping. Charlemagne couldn't help but laugh as he pointed out Diddy's outburst saying, that was you. But Diddy, looking visibly bemused, just muttered, hey man, it's wild how something that got a laugh back then is hitting differently now. In another wild clip from one of Diddy's infamous parties, Kevin Hart was seen getting cozy with some ladies in a bathtub. Until, unexpectedly, the other side of the tub caught fire. Uh, I'm not jumping. I'm not jumping to myself. Uh, you know, once, once everybody moves out, you know, just me and the lady. This is my scene. I'm used to this type of thing. Uh, you know, doing what I do best. Oh, oh! In light of all these controversial footages, leaked photos from Diddy's notorious white parties are also resurfacing, showcasing a star-studded lineup that includes everyone from teen heartthrobs to some of fashion's biggest names. One particularly nostalgic photo from July 2000 captures Diddy and his then-girlfriend Jennifer Lopez lounging on a massive white bed adorned with pillows. However, this same bed has now become a focal point of controversy, as it's been alleged to have been the site where Diddy conducted some of his notorious freak-offs. During the same party, Diddy and Jennifer Lopez were seen alongside a star-studded lineup that included Kamora Lee Simmons and her then-husband, Russell Simmons, as well as Hollywood A-listers like Matthew Broderick, Sarah Jessica Parker, Aaliyah, and Leonardo DiCaprio, the Titanic star, then just 25, was photographed relaxing with Diddy and friends, indulging in champagne and enjoying the high life. Over the years, Diddy's guest list has read like a who's who of Hollywood royalty. We've seen everyone from Paris Hilton, Kim Kardashian, and Howard Stern to Kelly Osbourne, Aretha Franklin, Martha Stewart, Tommy Lee, Pamela Anderson, Regis Philbin, Vera Wang, Jay-Z, Beyonce, Mariah Carey, and Nick Cannon mingling at his events. After making his move to the West Coast, Diddy continued the tradition at his Beverly Hills home where stars like Ashton Kutcher and Russell Brand also donned all-white attire. At these extravagant parties, the atmosphere was nothing short of wild, with models strutting around in little more than small pasties covering their chests. It was a scene that blurred the lines between high society and hedonism, and it's no surprise that former guests have shared some eyebrow-raising stories from those nights. One former substance dealer who supplied illegal substances to Diddy at his Hamptons parties opened up about the surreal experiences he witnessed. He described it as a place where weird ST was starting to happen. According to him, things quickly escalated beyond what anyone could have anticipated. Celebrity guys effing each other. There were back bedrooms, and it was like an inner sanctum, he recounted. You'd see two people you would not think would be hooking up. Rappers. That was what shocked me. With all these revelations surfacing, it's becoming painfully clear that the glitz and glamour we once associated with these celebs is fading fast. 
While it's crucial to remember that not everyone who attended these parties participated in Diddy's alleged freak shows, the fact that such a notorious scene existed and went unspoken for so long is wild. It's almost like there was an unspoken agreement among attendees to keep quiet about what really happened behind closed doors. From what we're hearing, anyone who wasn't willing to partake in these questionable after-parties would be let go, creating an environment of fear and intimidation. It's disturbing to think that many of the individuals involved, particularly the SX workers, were coerced into participating in these freak-offs. What's even more shocking is that many of the victims were reportedly male themselves. This adds a whole new layer to the narrative, challenging stereotypes, and forcing us to reconsider how these dynamics play out in the celebrity world. It raises so many questions about consent, power, and the links people will go for fame or survival. And for the third time, Diddy is still fighting for his bail, but the judge isn't budging. According to Lord Jamar, Diddy's bail has been denied due to the so-called freak-off tapes that allegedly feature none other than Obama and Michelle. Yeah, you heard that right. The implication here is huge. And it's no wonder the court is being extra cautious. Daddy changed his name to P. Diddy. He wanted to change it to Pimp Daddy, but he didn't think we would. Last week, Lord Jamar dropped some serious insights on the art of dialogue, explaining why it's looking pretty unlikely that Sean Diddy Combs will get bail anytime soon. He pointed out that the court has already turned down Diddy's $50 million bond not once, but twice. This suggests that the case involves way more than just a cash issue. Jamar made a compelling point. If they are turning down the money, whoa. They must really want you or have something major on you. What's on those tapes? Who else is on those tapes? He's finding videos of his free calls. You think it's any celebrities word? Absolutely. Absolutely. CEOs, all kind of mother... A bunch of people um, stepped down from their positions after this happened. Freak off tapes as leverage for years, possibly capturing powerful figures in compromising situations. And now, according to Jamar, the federal government has those tapes in their possession. When asked about Diddy's arrest and federal charges, Jamar didn't mince words about the likelihood of Diddy getting bail. When you have so much money like that, I feel like you are a flight risk, he said. He added that someone with Diddy's resources could easily intimidate witnesses or continue with his questionable activities, like organizing those infamous freak-off parties. But Jamar didn't stop there. He made it clear that Diddy isn't the only one who needs to be held accountable. He emphasized, he's not the top of the pyramid when it comes to the freak-offs, or doing illegal stuff as far as CEOs go. He called out the need for justice for other powerful figures, suggesting that there are bigger players behind the scenes who need to face consequences too. He reminded listeners not to single out Diddy just because he's a black man, saying, there are plenty of others doing bad. Jamar pointed to names like Clive Davis and Jimmy Levine, implying that the whole system is flawed and that many more individuals in the industry have been involved in similar activities. When Combs's homes were raided earlier this year, authorities uncovered items that seemed to connect to the alleged freak-offs. It was reported that, after these wild parties, Combs and the attendees would often receive IV fluids to recover from the physical exertion and substance use involved. U.S. Attorney Damian Williams noted that hotel rooms were booked and stocked with supplies, including illegal substances, baby oil, personal lubricant, extra linens, and lighting. During the raids of Combs's Miami and Los Angeles homes in March, officials seized a staggering amount of evidence. Over 1,000 bottles of baby oil, lubricant, illegal substances, and even three AR-15 rifles, as detailed in the indictment. Authorities raided Combs's Homeby Hills home for the criminal investigation. You recovered three AR-15s. Court documents now reveal authorities located AR-15s, narcotics, and more than a thousand bottles of baby oil lubricant in those raids. Holmes alleged no matter how this plays out, Diddy's career is basically done. He's been exposed for all the horrible things, and the truth just keeps coming out. His business pals and old friends are scrambling to distance themselves from him, and it looks like he's even deleted a bunch of tweets to try to clear his name. He insists he didn't do it, but honestly, it seems super suspicious, and most people aren't buying it. A lot of celebrities are too afraid to speak out against Diddy, possibly because they worry about the footage the feds might have that could involve them. It's reported that Justin Bieber is so shocked by the allegations against Diddy that he's completely shut down. With videos of the two of them surfacing again, it's clear that Justin is having a tough time. It's wild to think that someone who once looked up to Diddy now regrets working with him on his latest album. 
There are also more disturbing claims about how Diddy allegedly funded Bad Boy Records by intoxicating his guests and then filming them for blackmail purposes. A source, Castle Black, has said he's been holding back the truth about what he knows and that this whole scandal shines a light on just how messed up the celebrity world really is. It's like there are these powerful players behind the scenes controlling everything, and if you don't play by their rules, you could easily find yourself in a bind. Despite everything going on, it seems Diddy's kids are still standing by him. A source recently told TMZ that all of his children view him as a great dad and continue to support him. This includes his four kids with Kim Porter, Quincy, Christian, Jesse, and Dalia, as well as his son Justin, whom he shares with fashion designer Misa Hilton, and daughter Chance with businesswoman Sarah Chapman. He also has a one-year-old daughter named Love, whom he welcomed in 2022 with model Dana Tron. Last month, Diddy's kids spoke out about claims that their late mom had written a book before she passed away. This alleged memoir supposedly included accusations against Diddy and other shocking claims that were leaked by her friends. The book's publisher, producer Chris Todd, stated that Kim shared a hard drive of her writing with close friends, which he edited under the name Jamal T. Millwood. The book titled Kim's Words, A Journey for Justice from the Other Side, was released posthumously on Amazon. In their statement, the children expressed, We have seen so many hurtful and false rumors circulating about our parents, Kim Porter and Sean Combs' relationship, as well about our mom's tragic passing, that we feel the need to speak out. Claims that our mom wrote a book are simply untrue. She did not. And anyone claiming to have a manuscript is misrepresenting themselves. Additionally, please understand that any so-called friend speaking on behalf of our mom or her family is not a friend, nor do they have her best interests at heart. What many people didn't know is that Diddy had an adopted daughter named Ava Baroni. In a resurfaced video from four years ago, he claimed that he adopted her because he wanted her to have a black parent. During an Instagram Live in 2020, Diddy shared that he had adopted Ava, but sources later claimed that the video was just a skit and that he didn't formally adopt her. In the clip, Diddy is seen giving Ava a kiss on the cheek and stating that he adopted her with her mother's permission. He prompts her to introduce herself, and she says, Ava. When he asks for her last name, she replies, Ava Baroni, and Diddy playfully adds, Ava Baroni Combs. Ava, I'm a Scorpio. No, 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 what's your last name? Ava Combs. What's your other last name? Ava Baroni. Ava Baroni. Ava then shares a story saying she was on the streets before Papa Combs decided that he was going to be a caring man. Diddy remarks, yes, it's breaking news. Diddy adopted a white child before encouraging Ava to tell her story, giggling with Diddy's son, Quincy Brown, in the background. Ava continues, So I was on the streets, and then Papa Combs decided that he would like to be a caring man. So then he saw me and decided to pick me up, and said, come inside and play with his kids. Diddy went on to say, I adopted you like Madonna adopted kids, and everybody else adopted kids. Charlize Theron, Sandra Bullock, I adopted you because I felt that you could enjoy having a black parent to take care of you and help you out. So just clarify it because it's crazy out here online. Diddy made sure to ask Ava to confirm that he had her mother's permission, saying, you play with the kids and I got permission from your mother. Say all of that. Ava chimed in, explaining that she has been friends with Diddy's late partner, Kim Porter's teenage twin daughters, Dalia and Jesse, since she was just six months old. We basically are sisters, she said with a big smile. But here's where it gets a bit complicated. Last month, TMZ dropped a bombshell claiming that Diddy is not actually Ava's father and never legally adopted her. They reported that while Ava was known to the twins for a long time, she is actually cared for by her own parents, who were friends with Kim. So it turns out that Ava remains close to Delilah and Jesse. But Diddy hasn't really played a fatherly role in her life, and she and her family have since distanced themselves from him. With everything else that's been going down at Diddy's house and the seriously troubling allegations against him, it's hard not to think about the dark side of that day they went live introducing Ava. What's really been happening behind closed doors? Do you think Diddy will eventually come out and spill the beans about his alleged accomplices? It's definitely something to think about. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And while you're at it, make sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos for all the latest updates.